Hi everyone. Here's an example spec file running in Cypress and what do you think will happen in this test? Notice it has async callback function and it's awaiting the select or text in this case to pass to site contains. Well, we're not visiting anything, so will it find it? Will the test succeed or fail? Let's see how it runs. I'm opening Cypress. End-to-end -end test, and let's open the browser and click on the spec file and the test runs successfully, even though it fails to find anything because we're not even opening a page. So how can the test succeed when commands inside of it fail? Well, it's the async keyword. The test actually completes very quickly and the promise is still running. So it's the question of Cypress not understanding how to handle async await inside the test. There is a historical reason for this and the design reason for this. Cypress test, they run once for entire test and they queue up all the commands inside the test. And then they start running after opening the browser. So there is no need for async await keyword. Async await keyword tells the JavaScript engine, execute this and pause and then go to the next command. Well, Cypress needs to go through the commands and then start executing the actual commands. Now, a lot of people complain in this issue, 4742, why Cypress doesn't catch this, why it you know, gives you no indication that this is a problem. So this is why I've written a plugin called Cypress Catch Async Test that actually catches this and stops the spec file from even running. Uh, we need to install it. I'm using npm. Okay, the plugin has been installed. And then... What do I do? I just import the plugin from my spec file. Okay, let's see what happens now. So now the spec fails immediately. And it tells you you pass async callback to the test, async callback, and explains the reasoning caught by the plugin. And these are all links so you can directly go to the pages in the browser that explain what is going on. Okay, so use this plugin and never suffer the nightmare of the test not doing what's supposed to do just because you left async keyword accidentally.